so let's run down on this palette. Let's Okay, wait. Before we start, I forgot I didn't film an intro into this because I meant to include a tutorial on the look you see now. But it was a hot mess and just wasn't going to be useful, so I decided to mix it all together. I am reviewing and swatching the ColourPop Yes Please palette. I hope you enjoy and be sure to thumbs up this video so others can find it and hopefully get some perspective on this launch. With that said, let's get back to the video. The things that I don't like real quick so we can get those out of the way. I don't like the packaging. It's white. It's already dirty. It actually came dirty on the edges. So not my favorite, but whatever. You can get around it. I think the mattes are a little dry. Like I almost wish they were not as dry because I think they would have blended out better. This color down here, which was called French Kiss, that was so hard to blend. Like I could not get it to blend. It was kind of like once it set, it, it was like stuck there. I could not get it to blend. Everything else blended out really no problem. There was some patchiness with this one on the lower um, lash line that I saw, but nothing that was terrible. And it also was kind of like it doesn't even look like it doesn't even look like that on my finger. Yeah, it kind of does if you get close. It's more on the sheer yellow side. It's not very like punchy. The other thing is, I was kind of ex I don't know what I was expecting because you could see them. These are not like a 35O palette or um, what's another one? The 35O like a modern Renaissance. There's another one I'm forgetting like Natasha Denona Sunset. It, those are much like rich like very deep. I feel like those colors have depth. They're very dark. They're very warm. Very fall time. This is very like take those palettes and put them into summer because these are much more like like vibrant. These are very vibrant um almost neon colors. So where's another one? Here we go. Like this one I thought was gonna be brown and it's actually more orange than it looks in the pan. You see the difference? So these are much more like on the neon-y side which it wasn't what I was expecting, but then again, that's my fault. I should have looked at the swatches more, but I'm not mad. Like, I'm not mad about it. It was just not what I expected. So, this size is perfect for traveling. Names are on the back if you do care about that. They are on the back. Two of the shades I do know are um, already in like, their collection is Full Zip and, note to self, those are already shades existing in ColourPop's collection. Everything else is new. I like that you do get a bunch of mattes and then you also get like these metallics. This is very pretty, like this metallic too, bling. And then this is kind of like a duochrome. So it's like this and I actually have like a very similar color. This color, is, which is called Louis, is very similar to Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan's on the top. It's the same kind of family of that duochrome with like the gold and the pink, except there's much more gold and much more peach going on in this ColourPop palette than the Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek. I think they're pigmented enough. There is pigment, you can build them. The only problems that I had with is so far with this yellow shade, I don't think it was as pigmented as, that I, as I saw. Like when you put it on a brush and you blend it out, it's not as pigmented and it's much more neon. I don't know if you guys can like see it, but it's much more like neon than I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a mustard, like a little bit more depth to it, kind of yellow, but it is very much like a neon yellow, which if you like that, great. But I don't know how well this would, one would show up on dark skin. I'm just being honest. I think. So this palette is $16. It sold out in like 10 minutes so my suggestion for you is if you are going to shop around like I got some more items with this to get free shipping if you are going to shop around make sure on the launch day which is June 28th I'll put it up in the bar it's June 28th you want to make sure your cart's already full with everything you want and then once this launches when I was in there it was on a minute before 10 o'clock so on my iPhone it was 9 59 and it was already there I checked out and I was done at 10 so don't like I saw a lot of people saying that I wasn't able to get it I was trying to shop around and you have to remember just because this is in your cart it doesn't mean that it's saved you have to check out so do all your shopping put it in your cart and then as soon as this launches grab it put it in your cart check out like don't don't diddy daddle like it's you know you, you gotta get in there you gotta get in there the shades are smaller the pan sizes are smaller they are 0.85 ounces no 0.85 grams sorry 
0.85 grams compared to, I believe these are 1.5. So let me take one out. So they are much smaller, but you're still getting a lot of product. Like I don't, I don't think I've, I think I've hit pan on one eyeshadow once. I use so many eyeshadows, but so just so you can see, like I'm going to put it next to one. Can I do this? Can I, can I? Can I do this? <laughs> so you can see the pan difference. So I did the math. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen for exact. These retail without any sales. The normal sizes are $5 for 1.5 grams. And then if you took this shadow palette and divided it by the 12 shades in here, you would be paying, I believe it's $1.33 per eyeshadow pan. You are getting a good deal for what size is in here. But only if you know ahead of time going into this that these colors they're not gonna be like that 35 oh like that deep rich like fall color they're much more vibrant and like colorful like pops of color like these are much like all these colors in here are like pops of color so if you like that you want that vibrant you know warm look then this this is something for you but if you're expecting something that is like a bunch of like rich deep colors you know again i'm gonna repeat myself but like a 35 o palette or anything similar or like an anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette this is not it yeah so again with that in mind if you don't mind being up at the i have so much powder on my hands and look at how dirty like i can't stand that look at how dirty this is already like i can't stand that color pop what the heck why the white palette? So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into swatches. I'm just, I'm not gonna do finger swatches because I think we've seen the finger swatches and I don't think finger swatches justify how they actually work on your skin. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's blending. I'm gonna do like brush swatches, but I'm not gonna go into the, the shadow palette and dip once and then on my arm because I just don't think that's fair either because I don't think any of us go in and just dip once unless we just want like a little like and go in. And then we kind of like tap our brush in there and then we go in. So I want to give it a fair shot. I want to do fair swatches. And I'm not going to wet the brush for the metallics because I think it's obvious that if you wet the brush, they're going to be more vibrant. I would not say that these are foiled. They're not foiled, but they are very reflective when they get wet, as you can see on my eye. But they're not foiled. They're not like crazy, like Natasha Denona foiled. So let's get into the swatches the two brushes I'm going to use these are my favorite brushes are the Bedellum tools 776 for mattes it looks like this and my favorite for shimmers and metallics is the morphe 244 brush any flat type brush will do but this is just my favorite because it's a good size and I'm lazy and don't want to get other brushes anyways do you know what I mean like I think primers really help them this is so weird putting primer on i think primers really help the eyeshadows do the best that they can do so you always want to put a primer down okay this is the weirdest thing i've ever done in my life So I'm going to stop here real quick. This is just one like swipe or sweep, like a standard sweep. And the, they're, they're like this. So they're not finger swatches. Remember that. Like don't come at my camera at me. Ugh. Don't come at me saying that I did a terrible job swatching this. This is literally how they're going to show up on your eye. But however, clearly as you saw when I was doing my makeup, they get much more pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and like 
fast forward through this and just go through each of the colors and just show you how much you can build them up because I feel like, I mean you can't even see this bottom one down here, let's be honest, but you can build these up. So that's what I'm trying to get at. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward through all this and show you just how much you can build them up because this isn't like a fair look at this palette. Does that make sense? Like you're looking at one swipe, like going to normal, swiping it on normal, but of course if we want more color, we want to know if we can build these up, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. Another thing I do want to say about this palette, sorry to jump around, but there is crazy fallout with the shimmers. I think this one has the least amount, but all these shimmers have crazy fallout, and this one is the most powdery, which is spoiled. This one's super powdery. These two at the bottom, these two mattes, are actually pretty patchy compared to everything else. These two up here, um, these two light ones I think are going to have a hard time showing up with anybody with deeper skin tone because as you saw my swatches, I'm pretty fair and they weren't showing up that much. My final thoughts on this palette is, I think it's a good palette, again I think the colors are much more of that vibrant pops of color kind of warm palette and it's not very sultry, that's the word I want to go with. This is not like a sultry warm palette, this is very much vibrant and spring and summer warm tone like orangey palette so keep that in mind so if you want something more sultry i don't think you'll like this palette go ahead and give it a skip it's you won't be you won't be totally happy with it but if you do want more of those vibrant summer colors and you're into you know the oranges and the purple or not the purples but if you're into the oranges and the pinks and the, the yellows there's a lot of yellow in this palette you'll definitely love this Anyways, I hope you guys liked this um, swatch tutorial. Swatch tutorial. Swatch tutorial. I'm marking that. Swatch tutorial. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps. And also subscribe so you can see more videos. I post two a week. I don't have definite days yet. I'm still working on it. But I post two a week. And I have social media. You can follow me there as well. And I think that's all I have. I think I will stop it right there and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!